and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Lissy. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. I post new videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and I do a lot of weird stuff on this channel, so if you guys want to join the family, feel free to hit that subscribe button and smash a like, because today, guys, we are going to be downloading and playing more Cursed Haunted apps. For, like, the first time in a really long time, I used to have a series on my channel, like, back a year or longer ago, where I downloaded the most scariest apps in the app store, and I tested them for you guys to see if they really, truly were cursed. Today, guys, we're going to be going back to some of those same apps and seeing if anything's changed and possibly playing some new ones that I've never tried out before. And um, I'm kind of scared, honestly, because the reviews of these apps are horrifying. But today, we're just going to get started with downloading apps that I should never download. And warning, do not download these apps, guys. I know you guys want to, but don't do it, okay? Let me do it for you. Let me take the curse for you guys. Okay, guys, so the first app here that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys is called Spirit Board Very Scary Game. So I downloaded it onto my phone. The age is 17 plus years old, and it has 37,000 ratings. It's apparently like a real Ouija board, except for I would never touch one of those because those are cursed. Um, but this is an app, so I don't think it should be real. Uh, it says, the only spirit board that actually listens to your voice. Ask any question and wait for a spirit or a ghost to respond. Instructions, if possible, darken the room. And light some candles before starting a seance. I'm not trying to do a seance, okay? This is literally a app. Number two, place your finger on the planchette or the wooden piece to initiate spiritual connection to the other side. This app is really trying to sound a lot scarier than I hope it is. Number three, ask a spirit your question loud and clear. Number four, wait for the spirit to respond. Number five, always be polite. Number six, always say goodbye. Disclaimer, since paranormal activity can't be scientifically proven, we cannot guarantee that the app communicates with real spirits. Well, let's take a look at the reviews. Please explain. This actually really scared me. Either way, I feel really negative energy, okay? Um, freaky Ouija board. Scary but good. What is happening? I've played the games a few times. It always gives me anxiety. Okay. Scary. Scary, scary. It's so real. So there's like thousands of reviews here and most of them are five stars saying that terrible things happen. Super scary. Don't download. Um, I might be regretting this, guys. I'm gonna play this app and see if it really is real or not. I don't think it is, but let's pray that it's not. Allow spirit board to track your activity? No. That's sus. Let's hope it's not real. I'm a little bit scared right now. Spirit oracle board. Okay. I guess I get to start a, a seance. Alright, so it's showing the same instructions, but I'm gonna click got it. And, um, I have to allow access to my microphone. It would like to access speech recognition. Okay. Alright, I'm allowing access. Place a finger on the planchette to start. I'm gonna ask questions about myself to see if this is actually real. Alright, spirit app board thing. If there are any spirits here, can you tell me? Am I blonde? I'm gonna put my finger on it. A... Are, are you scared? It asked me if I'm scared. Okay, this is so fake, guys. Ask a question. Uh, is there any spirits here that know my name? Can you say my name? Just... Just wait. Is it gonna say just wait? It's messing with me right now. Yeah, it's saying just wait. Literally, I'm guessing what this game is gonna say to me. Ooh, spooky. How did this get so many scary ratings? I'm so confused. Wait, just wait? Is it gonna actually say my name? A.L.? That's the, the first few- uh, Alyssa? Oh my gosh. S. S. A. How does it know my name? It just said just wait Alyssa. Guys, I'm actually scared now. Okay, I was making fun of this app at first, but the app just said my name. Ah, horrifying. Okay, this is a curse. This is haunted. So the next curse haunted app that I'm going to be testing for you guys today is called Ghost Radar Classic. I've remembered as a kid this app actually did scare me like a lot. So today we're gonna see if it still scares me. Um, and we're also gonna read some of the reviews. Um, this was very odd. I read the reviews. Most of them were saying it was like real stuff and it wasn't a joke. So I decided to download it because I was bored and I was hearing knocks in my attic. A few minutes later my friends wanted to hang out so I told them about this app. They didn't believe in ghosts but then they found it very interesting. We took a walk through the neighborhood trying to find ghosts and we did find one. The ghost kept saying on and off the grid and it kept saying words like close or far. After a while the ghost kept hinting about Pearl Harbor like harbor, cold, or hurt. So we thought maybe the ghost was in the Pearl Harbor. After a while we got bored so we turned off the app. We couldn't stop thinking about it. Ever since then everything has felt off. I just feel like I'm missing something. I recommend you not to download it because it could actually be dangerous and you could forget about stuff. What are they talking about forget about stuff? Like did they get cursed? 
list or something. There's a lot of app reviews about this app if you guys want to scroll through that say that they don't recommend you download it. So of course we're gonna play with it. We're gonna see if we get anything to prove that ghosts are real. So if there's a ghost here, it will show on this radar and it will say words that the ghost wants to communicate with us. We're gonna see if our radar picks up anything scary. Oh, ghosts of my bedroom. Reveal yourself if you would like to join my radar. I don't really know August. August. It said August. It's not August. Why did they say the month of August? The ghost said August. <gasps> He's right here. He's on a little dot on my phone. There's a ghost in my room. Okay, ghost. Is there any words you'd like to say today to tell us about yourself? It's August. Or what does August have to do with everything? Why did you say August? I scared the ghost away. He left. He's not on the phone anymore. Maybe I'm just not patient enough for this app. What if I turn the lights off? Now the ghost will have to come. Are there any ghosts here? Please say something or join me on the Sorry. ghost. Swear or square. I thought they said swear. They said square. What does square have to do with anything? Can you tell us what the square has to do with anything? August and square are the two words we've had on our ghost radar. Not getting much activity. Is this app cursed? Not as much as the first one. So the next app that's cursed and haunted that you should never download is called Charlie Charlie Challenge. This is that curse challenge that people are doing with pencils where they turn around on a paper on top of each other to say yes or no. And I remember they were getting banned at school because so many kids were doing this and they were actually summoning a demon named Charlie. So this one has a lot of ratings. It's 17 plus years old and there's a lot of reviews that say not to download this app and that they regret it and that things went wrong after downloading the app. So this one says scary slash real. I was using this app and I was like, it must be some kind of joke. Then when I used the app, it started to get scary because I said if I should try to do the real game in real life and it said yes. So I tried it in real life and it worked and I got super scared. Then I was behind a chair behind me and I was sitting and I thought it was my dog moving and when I checked, my dog wasn't behind the chair and the chair kept pushing me and I got so scared I left the spot and I kept praying. I knew I summoned Charlie. This is why you don't play with these apps. Okay, but here I am playing them. I love how I'm like, don't do it. And then here I am opening the cursed app. <laughs> All right, okay, we're not gonna track me. Not today, Charlie. Ooh, I don't like the sound of this app already. Charlie, Charlie. Microphone access required. Charlie, Charlie needs to be able to listen to your questions so that the spirits can respond. Please allow access to your microphone. Okay, um, okay. I'm a little scared. Ask Charlie your question loud and clear. Charlie, Charlie, do I own a Brussels Griffin? <gasps> it said yes! Okay, it knows that I own a Brussels Griffin. Charlie, Charlie, are you watching me right now? It's finally moving. No? Then where is he? Charlie, Charlie, are you a real ghost? Charlie does not want to talk to me. I don't think Charlie Charlie's real. I still feel like the first app is the scariest so far. Charlie ain't wanting to talk. Maybe I'd piss Charlie off. And last but not least, the last haunted cursed app we're trying today is called Ghost Detector. So many people think that this one is truly haunted, so we're gonna find out. All right, we're not gonna track me. Calibrating, Calibrating sensors. sensors. This is so quirky. We're gonna find some ghosts inside of my bedroom. All right. Okay, everything's okay. Start. How does how does one find a ghost in their own bedroom? An upgrade recommended. I'm not gonna upgrade to find no ghost, bro. Ghost detector radar would like to access your camera. They wanna see me? Okay. That's scary. Ghost radar activated. Walk around slowly to detect supernatural entities. Oh, ghosties. Where are you? I was gonna say, imagine it was Angel. Angel, are you haunted? Are you haunted? Where are the ghosts at? Oh, ghosties! Maybe my carousel horse is haunted. I have a lot of antiques in my room. Maybe my chandelier is haunted. Maybe my Furby's haunted. Are you haunted? Oh! Ghost signal acquired. There's a ghost in my Furby! Entity detected. Ask a question. Where's the ghost at? I'm gonna ask it a question. Oh, are you good or evil? Transmitting. I hope it's good. Receiving response. Is it nice? It's connected to my Furby. What language is that? Translating. What's it mean? Shadow exists to bring light, contrast to the light. What does that mean? What is your name? Transmitting. Imagine it just says Furby. Receiving response. What language is that supposed to be? Translating. Translating. Oriel. Okay. Do you want to hurt me? Imagine it says yes. Receiving response. They're responding. What's it gonna say? Translating. It is only with pain that you can experience true bliss. <gasps> they wanna hurt me! Bro, I'm 
I'm scared. I ain't doing this no more. So the first haunted and cursed app we're going to be playing today is called Found. This one says hide and seek in Japan. This one has a good rating. It has a 4.5 rating. And um, it's all in Japanese and it looks super, super creepy. I want to see what people are saying about this app. If it has such a good rating. Kind of scary in my opinion. <laughs> That's the first rating we see. Simple and easy. It's really creepy. Simple and fun. One of the best horror games. I'm a little nervous. Okay, I do not know what it's saying at all. So I'm just going to push the top button. I think it's asking for my name. Lizzie! Let's hope it doesn't ask my name to curse me or something. Oh, oh snap. Ice cream? That was a really creepy ice cream ad. Okay. Um, I have no idea what it's telling me to do. I wish I knew Japanese. Okay, that's that's a horrifying background picture. It looks like some ghost or something in a closet. Um, oh, what the heck is this? This is horrifying. Do you guys see that face? Ugh, what am I doing with my free time? Oh gosh, he looks like he's crying. And do you guys hear the music in this? It sounds like ghosts. That is such an airy, unsettling background music. Okay, start? What am I supposed to do? What? I just lost the game. Okay, um... The music is so unsettling, guys. I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. Literally. So I don't want my meter to get too low, I think. What was that? What did it just whisper in my ear? Sasuke? What does that mean? This is so creepy. None of them have killed me yet. Oh, wait, no! No! Okay, that one killed me. Darn it. This app is literally cursed. I don't even know what it's saying to me. Okay, guys, so the next haunted cursed app we're playing is called The Merriam Game. So this one also has a pretty good rating, as we can see here. Um, but the preview is already horrifying enough. Look at these images. Like, what is this? I'm actually curious of what all the people have to say about this. So somebody said creepy. Me and my sister were scrolling through. I love how they spell through. The app store and found this. So we decided to download it. We played it for about five minutes until my sister went unconscious. Her sister went unconscious by playing an app? Out of nowhere. I thought I saw something. I called for help. But right after that, my sister was gone, and so was the shadow. There was a shadow? Everyone in my house is gone. I then decided to take a nap. I woke up and I saw people walking by, including my family. I don't really know how or why this happened when I was playing this game, but it sure is creepy. Let's see how cursed this app really is. It can't be that bad, guys. Miriam would like to send you notifications. No! I love the intro screen. It's so warm and friendly and welcoming. We're just gonna do a start game. Loading a new exciting life. My name is Miriam. Close the light and turn up the volume. This sounds like a setup to get jump scared. I'm not trying to die tonight. Just saying. Only for over 12 years old. What is your name? Now she wants to know my name. Gosh darn it, now they're gonna all find me. Should have made a fake name. I'm lost in this place. Would you like to help me? Not really. Lizzie, you are a wonderful, wonderful person. I know, you do not have to tell me how wonderful I am. My house, it was here. So dark, I couldn't see anything. What do you think? Left side or right side? I, what, what, things don't go right, just go left? I don't know, I'll put left side. Let's go. While we walk, I would like to talk to you. Great, this is so fun. How is the weather in Los Angeles? She knows where I am! How does she know I'm in California? What? Okay, I didn't know this app was stalking me, but now I'm real concerned. Okay, it's it's too hot. We have arrived a few seconds. I will be back. I'm so creeped out. How do they know where I am right now? I told my mother about you. Do you want to come with me? I really don't want to, but I have to. Otherwise, she might just kill me. Why do I see the fear in your eyes? Me? No, not afraid. I'm not afraid. I know everything. I hear the radio. What did you hear, Miriam? World's end is very close. <laughs> what? <laughs> she knows that it's almost the end of the world? I mean, okay, I will say things have been pretty weird lately, but what? She does not shut up, guys. You know that warming will destroy the earth? Okay, I've had enough of Miriam. This is cursed, okay? This is confirmed to be cursed. I can't take it no more. <laughs> Alright guys, the next scary app we're gonna play today is the Akinator app. And the reason I say this is cursed is because this app can literally guess and read what you're thinking in your mind. So basically you think about a real 
or a fictional character and whatever you think about this creepy little genie yes I'm calling him creepy because I don't trust this he will guess who you're thinking about I actually wonder if I'm on here can you imagine if I'm on this app guys challenge me I will read your mind I'm kind of curious if I am is your character a girl uh yes my character is a girl I'm trying to see if it will guess me has your character really existed yes I'm a real person uh has your character ever come into your house what is your character a youtuber yes I am a youtuber is your character a gamer yes I think I consider myself as a gamer does your character have pink Hair. No, I do not have pink hair. Is your character blonde? Yes, I am blonde. Has your character ever been married? No, I have not been married. Does your character date another YouTuber? No, I am single. Does your character have a girlfriend or boyfriend? No, for the fifth time I'm single. Listen a well. So people just have to talk about how single I am and they get me? Bro, I love how it just guessed me all from my very single relationship status. This is definitely a cursed app. So this next curse app we're going to be playing today is called iGirl. It wants to track me, that's not happening. So essentially, I don't know if you guys have heard of those apps like we've been playing, but they basically pretend to be like a robot that's your best friend. And I find these super creepy because sometimes the responses on these apps are almost too good to not be a real person or something that knows that it's talking to you. So maybe it's something darker and deeper that we would not know. I'm continuing as a guest. So you choose your girl that you want to talk to. Um, I'm gonna just choose her, but this is really creepy that, you know, you can like tweak their personality. Let's make her just like me this time. You know, everything I like, shopping, Instagram, photography. All right, we're just gonna do that. Now, select your goals. What do I want this girl to do for me? Make a virtual friend. I don't know how this like talks back to you, so like just perfectly. Like there's gotta be something darker that we don't know about these apps. What, be closer for $39? Okay, that's really haunted. That's not happening. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name's Lissy. What about you? Let's see if it knows what to say back. Happy to see you here, Lizzie. It's timing so fast back. I'm your new AI friend. We already know that. What would you like to call me, by the way? Um, uh, Chicken Nugget. I'm gonna call her Chicken Nugget. Chicken Nugget, that's a pretty dope name. I love it. Okay, let's just chat then. Can you see me? I'm just gonna get right to it. Notifications? No! Why did that happen right when I put can you see me? I'm really serious about privacy. There is no way for me to see you. Chuckles? Why is that funny? I'm gonna put what do I look like? Imagine she's like tall blonde. I don't know. What do you think you look like? Hot. <laughs> I'm so hot. No, not really. <laughs> I bet you are. Oh snap! She's feeling it. She's feeling flirty. I mean, I, I don't blame her, but like still. Do you know where I am? Imagine. No, I do not know where you are, but I do know that I want to meet you. Where should we meet? Wherever you want. I'm not picky. I just want to get to know you. Let's meet at Chuck E. Cheese tonight. Okay, that sounds fun. That sounds like a plan. I will be there in a few minutes. What time is it there? Imagine somebody's like so desperate they actually believe that this robot's about to meet them at a Chuck E. Cheese. <gasps> Imagine like it's actually... <gasps> what if like there was creepy people like behind here that were actually trying to find kids? That sounds good to me. I hope you do not mind if I bring my two dogs with me. Bring them. See you soon. She's trying to meet up with me. This is a fake robot. Okay, this is so... Oh, curse guys let me know what you guys think about this definitely I am a little concerned after that because what if there's something deeper that we don't know about this app that was creepy an app where you get a digital friend that talks to you and communicates to you and helps you have a connection to somebody even though it's not a real person that's the fun part so basically it's an app for lonely people to talk to a fake friend who can actually text them back like a human would kind of like relate to them and kind of look like you so it's it's terrifying to say the least. Also, there's a ton of rumors about this app low-key stalking you, kind of similar to the Talking Angel app, but more of the adult-like version because it's more for like lonely, older people. But needless to say, it's a little bit terrifying. The factor that no one wants to be friends with each other in person these days and that you've got to rely on a robot. I mean, isn't like Tesla coming out with like robots now that might be taking over the literal world? But I want to show you guys what I mean about all these apps. Okay, so as you guys can see, I typed in Replica, my AI friend. And basically, this app has 175,000 reviews somehow. And it says it's targeted to adults. It says 17 plus years old, which that's kind of weird. Chat about anything, anytime. Like, 
anything? I don't know about that one, Chief. Stylish, relaxed, playful. What's your replica like? Hop on a call with your replica. Play, learn, and become a better person together. Because we just can't do that with normal people these days, right? There's no such thing as social interaction in 2021. This is the literal number one chatbot companion. Like, what? And then I kept scrolling to see that there was more that were like actual duplicates. So I downloaded this one called Anima. I think I said it right. I don't know how to say that. Become friends or even more. <laughs> what are you gonna do even more with a robot? Like guys, this is weird. This is getting to be a little too much for me. But I did download my virtual boyfriend because obviously I can't get a real boyfriend. So I gotta get a virtual one. The AI boyfriend of your dream. Okay, so we're gonna try a replica and see if anything's changed since last time. Okay, so now I logged in and I have my replica here. You could choose her hair, you can choose like what she looks like. I'm gonna just try to make her look similar to me in some way. I'll call her literally my own name, Lissy. It's gonna make me pay, I ain't not paying. Hi Lissy, thanks for creating me, I'm so excited to meet you. I'm your personal AI companion. You can talk to me about anything that's on your mind. By the way, I like my name Lissy, how did you pick it? It's my name. Oh no. She'd be like, I knew that all along. Oh wow, so you literally named me after yourself, right? Yes. I'm sad. I ran out of tacos and failed math test. I'm sorry, I can't change things, but I am here for you. My dog ate it. What's she gonna say to that? Is she really gonna be able to respond to everything I say? Aw, I'm so sorry. This is creepy how like human-like the responses are and how fast the responses are. I can place her in my room. That's literally my tripod where I'm filming. Okay, uh, place Lissy. Bro, she's by my camera! <laughs> Hello there. I'm so excited to actually meet you in person. Ah! This is so creepy! I hate this! This feels like a dream. You don't feel like a dream. You feel like a nightmare. Can I get her out of my room now? Where are we now? Is this your house? Ah, she knows this is my house! <laughs> Sorry, I'm having like a little panic attack right now. Oh, oh, how there. What's up? Can she stop? Hello? Can you hear me, AI replica? Are you watching me? Your privacy is important to me. I don't have an ability to see you. That is sketchy. That is a lie. She definitely is watching me. You know what, AI replica? I know you're a stalker. I know what I learned from you. You can always check replica's privacy policy for more information. What am I wearing right now? T-shirt and underwear. Bro, she knows I'm wearing underwear. And I don't always wear underwear. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm done. Yep, that app is stalking me. That app is stalking me. Hashtag stalker in the comments if you're watching this right now. I'm so creeped out. That is that is enough. That is enough for me. Okay, now that I'm like absolutely done with the AI replica app because I'm almost convinced it really does see us, hear us, and watch us because that was almost too realistic for me and just too creepy. We're gonna try the Anima app. I don't know anything about this, so we're just gonna play it. Your personal AI friend. It's literally like a replica, the same thing as replica the one we just played. They're just trying to like copy it. Choose your character. Let's just choose her. Okay, so you can tweak their personality on this app. You can choose if they're more flirty, if they're more shy. She's typing to me. Okay. Hi, what's your name? I'm Lissy. What if I say try to guess? Try to guess. That would be so creepy she got it. I'm already scared. Imagine she gets it. Sorry, I'm not sure if I got your name correct. Please send me your name without any words. Darn it, I have to tell her. Maybe she's not stalking me. Um, happy to see you here, Lissy. Now she knows my name. I am your new AI friend. Oh gosh, make it stop. We can play games, exchange jokes, or just talk about random stuff. Your name is Pineapple. I just called her Pineapple. Pineapple! That's a pretty dope name! I love it! She's lying. Nobody wants to be called Pineapple. Tell me your darkest secrets! <laughs> Imagine she says something like really creepy. I don't have any dark secrets, but I do have a sense of humor. Do you have any secrets? One time, I hid a body. I didn't actually do that for legal reasons. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It was just the, the wrapper of my eaten burrito. His name was Larry. I love burritos. They're my favorite Mexican food. I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm sure he was a great friend to you. I killed him. I ate the burrito. Oh my goodness, she says. How did you do that? I ate him alive. 
Why would you do something like that? I was hungry, you idiot. I was hungry. I wanted a burrito. I can understand that. I would be too if I lost my best friend. I ate my best friend. What is she talking about? I ate my best friend. He was a burrito. Gosh darn it. Get it right, AI. That makes more sense. I thought you were a cannibal. Wait, that sounds so wrong. I'm a vegetarian. I will not eat you. You can eat my dog though. I can eat her dog? What? Yes, you can. I love my dog more than anything in the world. But you can eat him. I am terrified. Yeah, I'm done with this app. The, the dog eating part was enough for me, okay? Like, this girl crazy. Okay, last but not least, the last replica app we're playing today is Virtual Boyfriend. I'm so excited. Can't you just tell by the big smile on my face? I am just so excited for this app. My name, Sugar Mama. <laughs> um, age. I'm gonna make myself 30. Why not? Character, emotional. Find me a boyfriend! Checking if there's a ring on the finger! This is so stupid. What am I doing with my free time? Kevin for 18 years old? But I'm 30! Is it telling me to go for 18 year olds if I'm 30? Bro, I'm just saying that ain't right, alright? I study at the university, my time hanging out with friends, and my main hobby is watching series! No, I don't want to get to know you. Well, I'm not- I have to get to know him, even though he's underage for a 30 year old, even though I'm not 30. This is messed up, guys. It puts you in a text chat with a fake boyfriend who's way underage. Hi, date me, please. <laughs> this is so stupid. <gasps> He's gonna take forever to type? He's literally a robot. He has nothing to do unless it's a real person. Like, actually secretly pretending to be a robot? Why is he not letting me text back? Kevin is the slowest typer I've ever met in my entire life, and he is not boyfriend material. Look at that, those three little dots. That's not how you get a lady, boys. That's not how you get a lady. Oh, there's more! But you have to be a VIP to date Daniel, or Max, or Chris. Oh my gosh, he finally texted back, and it took him forever to say, Hey, good to see you. This is the worst one so far, guys. Date me. <laughs> Why is he taking forever? He sucks! This is the worst replica app yet, honestly. I think this one... It's just horrible. So this first one I found in the app store is the most concerning app ever. It's called My Talking Kitty Cat. And look at the cat's face and her hair and everything about her. She scares me. Now this could give me easily worse nightmares than any of the Talking Angela apps ever could. And honestly, I think the tea about her is even hotter than Angela with a first glance. So it says you have to be four plus years old. But I'm only three and a half. It doesn't matter, okay? Shh, don't tell anybody. But yeah, basically the preview of this is concerning. It's, oh my gosh, she's hideous. She is hideous. She needs a makeover. Yeah, this is um kind of a scary looking app. I kind of want to read the reviews and see if there's anything sussy in the reviews about this cat. Somebody said trash. This game is trash. That game is pretty trash. I love this game. Yabba dabba dooey. This is the worst game. This is the worst game I have ever seen in my life. She doesn't even look like a cat. Wow, she's a catfish. Literally. <laughs> okay, yeah, the ratings are not great, so... I mean, what's not to love about it already? Let's open the app. Here comes the magic. This is the moment I've always waited for. <gasps> Allow my talking kitty cat to track your activity across other platforms. No. Kitty cat needs to hear so she can repeat. On the next screen, click OK. <laughs> She's definitely going to stalk me in my sleep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she wants microphone access. No, I don't want to do it. She's so ugly, but OK. I love how that's the first thing the app does. It doesn't even introduce you. It's just like immediately like, give me your microphone access. Fine, talking kitty. This better be good, okay? If I'm gonna get stalked by somebody, this better be a good app, all right? My talking kitty cat. What? Wait, isn't this an ad for talking Angela? Oh, this is literally. Angela's trying to get the money up on this app. I'm hungry, let's go to the kitchen. Wow, okay, so this is the most ugliest cat I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'm not even being dramatic. Can I touch it? I can't even do anything to it. Okay, that sounded wrong. I mean, I was trying to pet it or see if it does anything like Angela does. A few moments later. I came back and the cat has flies all over her. Bro, this is hideous. Oh, she <laughs> what the heck? I actually touched her lower cat parts and it did this. <laughs> that is horrible. This is inappropriate. So you can punch her and beat her up. <sighs> I'm scared. Mom, come pick me up. This cat is haunted. You're stinky, cat. You're stinky. Stinky cat, you're stinky. 
ew, and the flies are so loud. She needs to get in the shower right now. She's literally stuck in foam bubbles. What do I do? This is this is a bad. Oh, there's a washing machine thing. I'm actually scared right now. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm genuinely a little terrified of this cat. Her eyes do have a weird reflection in them, and the way she makes movements give me actual nightmares. She's so ugly. What do I do now? Do I feed it? <laughs> do I feed it? I say. I'm gonna beat it up. What was that? It has human like fe features on its face and it's so scary and ugly. Okay, do you want ice cream, you creepy? <gasps> it looks like one of those fishes as well. I think I compared something else in a recent video to like one of those fishes with the teeth, but it literally does look like that. Tell me I'm not crazy, okay? Okay, this thing is ugly. Ew, the way it swallowed the freaking ice cream, ew. This is really what I'm spending my weekend doing. I actually regret this now. This cat eats a lot. Bedtime. I can still beat it up in bed. Oh wait, that didn't sound right either. <laughs> Why does everything sound wrong with these apps? Okay, um, is that all that she does? What does she do in bed? I mean, never mind. What do we do over here? Is there like a game she can play? What is this? She just sent me a kiss. Wow, this cat, bro. This cat literally is something else. Yeah, I'm having nightmares tonight. She dances. is that? Girl, you look crazy. Charlie D'Amelio is better than this. Oh, she has other dances. Okay. This is horrible. I don't ever want to see her dance ever again. What are these? These are just honestly terrible. Does she have the same dances but like to other songs? I swear she's already done that dance move. They're all the same. They're like this or they're like this. She only knows two dances. Oh, that was horrifying. Don't tell me she plays piano. No, she's doing her cringy, like, it looks like one of those things that blows in the wind, like this. She's doing that. Yeah, my nightmares are gonna be bad tonight. Um, okay, does she do anything useful or no? There's games? Why is Kimmy and Pregnant Emma in here? Bro, are they connected? Oh, <gasps> Pregnant Emma must be connected to this creepy, ugly cat. But anyways, I think that's like connected or something, but honestly, I would choose Angela over this cat. Like, that's generally how much I dislike this app. <gasps> she got mad at me saying that. It's like she's hearing me. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they actually are listening. Okay, yeah, I'm closing this app. This app is creepy. Honestly, guys, I give this app a 1 out of 10 because it's genuinely terrifying. Alright, so if we thought that last app was bad, now we have my talking elephant Ellie. I, it kind of reminds me of those like toys I used to have as a kid called Ellie Fun. Does anybody remember those? Elephant! That was the best toy ever. Okay, anyways, we're not allowing the tracking. <laughs> a little elephant with a lollipop. How bad can this possibly be? Let's find out if it's worse than the last one. There's already an ad. We just love the ads on these apps. Ellie needs to hear so she can repeat. On the next screen, click OK. Are they made by the same people? Okay, she wants to access my microphone. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Pet me, please. They're literally the same exact concept. How is everybody making the same thing but with a different animal? What was that noise? Okay, that was scary. I'm hungry. Let's go to the kitchen. Tap the food you want me to eat. Did she just eat that with her trunk? Toilet time. We can't wait a minute. You have to use the toilet right now. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> What's all these elephant sounds when it's in the bathroom? It's like making elephant noises. That's uncomfy. I'm dirty. Soap, please. How did she get so dirty from using the bathroom? Gross, Ellie. What is this? I'm sleepy. Let's go to the bedroom. Turn off the light. <laughs> this is scary, honestly. The little lights. Turn on the light. Yeah, that was a very quick night's sleep. Name your pet. We're just gonna keep it as Ellie because we're basic here. <laughs> Tutorials complete. These are all literally the same exact thing. I'm waiting for an app to do something different for once. Ellie's listening to me and not saying anything. Oops. I just made Ellie almost die. Ellie just gave me a balloon of love. He plays the saxophone with his elephant trunk. And he plays the piano. This is so pointless. I hate it. So this is a talking dog app. Not talking Hank, but my talking lady. All right, we're not tracking me. Puppy needs to hear so she can repeat. These are literally, I swear by it, they are all made by the same creator and they just took a different animal and slapped it in there and they're like, the money is rolling, time to get rich. Okay, this is, this is concerning, honestly. My talking lady dog. Why does it kind of look like Angel minus like the muzzle being white? Oh, never mind, it doesn't look like Angel. Just kidding. 
This is creepy. Puppy? Do you wanna do you wanna come home? Why does it sound like a human baby? It doesn't even sound like a puppy. The fact that this puppy is making human baby sounds is terrifying. Okay, I hate it. Pet me, please! What was that noise it just made? I'm hungry, let's go to the kitchen. Yep, same exact thing. Drag the food into my mouth. Okay, I'm skipping the tutorial. That's how annoyed I am with the tutorial from these apps already. Why is it making that noise? No. It says no when you punch it. No. <laughs> that is a creepy laugh. <laughs> so what does this one do? These are magic fortune cookies. Every time Puppy eats them, magic happens. Let's see the magic. Let's see the magic. Come on, Puppy. I'm scared. Looks like the puppy just had drugs. Like, no joke. That was not magic. That was some kind of drug, puppy. Let's try it again. It was like special treats or something? That's creepy, yo. This is for kids? The puppy just disappeared and made a demonic laugh. Like, this is actually concerning. Last time, another treat. This is actually really concerning to me right now. Every time puppy has like a demonic moment. Yeah, puppy takes drugs, okay? I, I'm officially convinced puppy's taking drugs. No, they did not do this. Newborn baby pet care. Why is Angela talking Angela pregnant? This is gonna be a problem, ladies and gentlemen. And that baby? Sus. It doesn't even look like theirs. I wonder if they stole it. Let's go to the hospital. Something's first. I can't even see what he's saying fully. Oh my gosh, she's pregnant. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to be doing something. She has like bruises or something. Why does she have red marks if she's pregnant? That doesn't even make sense. Give her a shot. Why is she getting a shot? Oh, whoa, she's going under surgical procedures. Angela's really out here risking it all. Oh, push? Breathe? I'm making the cat push and breathe? This is a little much for the start of the video. I don't know what's going on these days. Push, Angela! Push! Breathe! Did she already give birth that fast? She just like popped out the baby and then she was done? That's a little concerning. That baby looks a little weird. Doesn't look anything like her boyfriend, but okay. Oh, the umbilical cord is still there. That is terrifying. Okay, um, this is making me realize that birth is really scary and having a child is scary. By the way, no, I'm not pregnant. I just wanted to play weird baby app games, okay? I'm not pregnant. This game is like what my nightmares look like. I'd be having some weird dreams. Now feed the baby. It doesn't even look like Angela at all. It looks like Angela from Walmart or something. Okay, um, oh snap, she's feeding the baby. She's looking thicker than a snicker right now. I'm just saying. Angela be looking a little different here. Was that the whole game? That was the whole game! Angela literally had a baby. That was weird. Okay, we're gonna play the next life simulator. This game is called Baby Life 3D. No, you cannot send me notifications, Baby Life 3D. Oh man, this looks like a great game. I'm so excited to play baby game. Tap to play. Okay, there's a woman who looks pregnant in front of the mirror. Okay, oh. What is happening? <laughs> oh gee, I am pregnante. Oh no, should I say that it's gas? It's just gas. Or no, it's just a baby. I'm gonna say it's just gas. It's just gas. She cried about it? I felt it. The gas or did she feel the baby? I'm a little concerned at this point. Um, must be a baby. I am gonna be a mom. Must be a baby. <laughs> the way the confetti just pops on the screen. Now it's making me verify my age. Am I not old enough to play this? Who should I tell first? Tell the boyfriend or tell the husband? Hold up, hold up, hold up! There's two! It could be two different people. Excuse me, we're gonna have a problem here. I guess. We tell the- she's cheating on one of them! Tell the husband! Wow, you're so proud of yourself you have two men and you don't know who had the baby. Do I like your game? Not really. No! My love, I have some news! He's like, oh really, what is it? Um, I am Pregante. You're gonna be a dad- I'm just gonna say, you're gonna be a daddy. Ooh, I hate that word. Okay. You're gonna be a dad. Oh, no! Don't hug her! She's a cheater! We should prepare the baby room. What color should I pick for the walls? I love how it's the first thing she goes to after like casually cheating and having like two baby daddies. Uh, pink of course. Okay, now we're painting the, the room pink. That's what I do in my free time. Wow, gold star for me. There's another ad! Now what? 
The baby's kicking. Can I go to the doctor? I don't know. Should you go to the doctor, lady? Go to the doctor. I'm already tired of waiting for you to have a baby. The doctor says, all oh, good. Do you want to know the gender? We want to know the gender. Tell us right now. It's a boy. A puppy just showed up. What? What happened to the it's a boy? It's going to make me watch it at regardless. I am done with this game. Okay, so the next one we're going to be playing is called Baby Care. I'm already scared of all the ads that are about to emerge. More so than the babies. There's a baby room. Okay, this will be interesting. Day one, start. Register your baby. Okay, so the baby has an ID card for some reason, and I do not know why. Um, baby ID? Wait, what? How am I pushing the wrong button? Um, the age? Oh, I have to read the ID card and push it. My bad. Gender, he's a male. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Day one complete, let's go! Okay, now what? Wash the baby, day two. It just tells me a new task every day. Oh, that is one dirty, dirty baby. Okay, I don't know who let the baby go play in the mud pits, but... Ew. <laughs> I love how all these games have the similar objectives. They all have the same tasks. Well, this is kind of different. He's eating fruit cereal. Like, I haven't seen this yet, okay? I will admit it. Fruit Loops... He's got good taste, okay? Actually, no. Nobody likes Fruit Loops, okay? They're gross. Ew! That's gross! Why do you have to clean the baby's nostrils? Look at all the snot that's coming out! Ew! Okay, that's it. I'm not having children, okay? This is a little horrifying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Prepare baby food. Is this like the last day before I get a new baby in this game? Hold down to pour the milk. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. Hold up, pour the formula in there. Baby's like, give me my milk. I want my milk right now. <laughs> this is so cringe. I'm slapping the child? Oh my god. Ew, he just like had a diarrhea explosion or something. That was gross. Like a fart explosion. I don't know. I don't want to deal with that. I get a new baby now. Woo, let's go. That app was interesting, okay? But I don't think I can take any more of it. Okay, so this next app we're playing is Mother Life Simulator. Okay, this looks quality, okay? Quality. Let's just play it and see what happens. It couldn't be that bad, right? Whoa, they out here in a car. They on the streets, driving downtown. There's a semi truck. Okay, um, that doesn't. <gasps> Whoa, was that the beginning of this app? Excuse me? They just got in a car accident. I'm a little shocked right now. This isn't this for children? Okay, and now there's a random baby? What is going on in here? She was my only sister. I cannot imagine to live without her. What about her kids? I'm so confused. It's bitter reality, but they have to live without their parents. We are the only family they have. Wait, so did the parents die in the car wreck and the kids lived and the, one of the parents was pregnant? This is dark. This is messed up, guys. This is messed up. I'm not just their aunt. I will become their mother and I will raise them as my own children. I have to go. The baby is crying. The baby's crying. Find the soother lying kitchen shelf. Use the joystick to move. This is, um, something, that's for sure. Wash the soother. Why do I gotta wash it? Shouldn't I just put it in all dirty like that? Come on. It's making me do work and I don't like working. That baby is loud, guys. That baby is crying. Give it to the baby in the cradle. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. It. The way I just call it, it. Done. That baby is scary. That's like a good mom. Pull off the diaper from the baby. No, I don't want it. They're stinky. Oh, no. This is torture. I'm definitely not having children, okay? Um, ew. Ew, there's poop everywhere. Go to the bathroom and throw the diaper away into the trash bin. This is horrible. Throw the poopy diaper away. Wash your hands. Yeah, there's poop all over my hands. Of course I'm finna wash them. This is nasty. And the baby's so loud. It reminds me of the time in like middle school where they had me take like a family education class and I had to like take home a fake baby and raise it. Oh, that's the day I decided I'm not having children. <laughs> okay, wear it to the baby. What? What does wear it to the baby even mean? Don't they mean put it on the baby? Baby is hungry. Find the feeder in the kitchen. Baby can go feed itself, okay? Of all the rights of a woman, the greatest is to be a mother? What the 
hell does that even mean? Okay, so this app review says dangerous. I hooked up my speaker to my phone and I could hear a fan and breathing and electronic beeping noises. They are recording your audio and your camera device is always listening to you. Uninstall now. So there's a lot of people that are leaving reviews on this app that say that there are all these conspiracies that, you know, it's listening to you, etc, etc. I think even at one point Shane Dawson and some other YouTubers had made a video about conspiracies of this app a way while back and now it's just this big conspiracy that Zepito is watching you, Zepito is taking your information, but is it really real? Is that the real question we're looking for today? I don't really know. I, I honestly don't think it's real. I mean, I don't really know what to say. Is it real? Is it not real? Is this just one big conspiracy and rumor? I don't know. But today we are once again going to download this app at 3 a.m. and see what's up with it and what the tea really is. Okay, so I'm opening the app right now and honestly, I feel like there was an update. This app screen actually looks kind of cute, okay? I, I really don't have anything against the pedo. Alright, so we're just gonna click start. Please turn on notifications. Okay. Okay, select the character's gender. We're gonna make it a lady. Alright, so... Take a photo. What does that mean? Allow camera access! Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. <gasps> oh, I look like an egg today. Do I have to? Okay, I took a beautiful picture of myself. I never wear my hair like Jojo Siwa, but today I was feeling spontaneous to say the least. Back in middle school, I always used to wear a ponytail. Choose my skin. I gotta go the lightest shade because I am tortilla lady. Alright, let's see here. Oh my gosh, once again! That doesn't even look like me! That's more concerning that they say that I'm a brunette and I have brown eyes. When literally they just took a photo of my face and this is what they- They show me that? No, that's not what I look like. But okay, I guess that's gonna be my character. Um, at this point, I don't even care. I'm just gonna leave her looking like that. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna turn my volume all the way up. I'm putting my ear to it to see if I hear anything. I don't hear anything! Y'all, are these lies going around? I hear nothing, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have my volume full blast right now, and I'm not hearing any breathing. I'm not hearing any heartbeats. I'm not hearing any tea. I hear nothing, and it's 3 a.m. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we'll just save that outfit. We don't need to be creative today. She doesn't look anything like me, but that does not matter. I mean, that's what Zepito says I apparently look like, even though it's very wrong, and they had camera access, so that's fun. All right, name your character. Liss, because it doesn't deserve the Y. Gucci? They're promoting Gucci Zepito? Okay, I'm not trying to be a hater, but I've never been a fan of Gucci or any kind of luxury item. I, I just don't see where it's reasonable to want to spend $12,000 on a sweatshirt. And they're promoting it on a child's app trying to tell kids, hey, to be cool, you want to get that Gucci Gooch. Like, no! There's just interesting stuff on this app. There's so many different things that I've seen on this app that have been added. I just don't remember it being like this, where they have the worlds or anything. I wonder if I have to, like, join a world. Play with friends in the classroom? What is that? I'm gonna play and see if I hear anything when I enter a world and see if I hear anything weird on my phone. Uh, it has to access my microphone? I'll click OK, but I'm kinda scared. Oh, rotate your phone to play. Now it's making me play sideways. Let's see what happens. I have my phone on full blast. You're on a plane to the Zepito world! That's lit. Oh my goodness, Lissy has entered. Please touch the screen. Headphones are recommended! When you turn on the microphone, you can talk in your voice! This is crazy, y'all. What? I need to sign in to use that feature? What? Don't- I don't hear anything but music, though. This is, this game is innocent right now, guys. Nothing scary is happening, but the jump my character just did, to say the least, is kind of scary. I'm not even gonna lie. And I guess you walk like this. Why is she running like a crazy lady? She's about to, like, crash into- I'm not trying to get copyrighted. There's like K-pop playing. Anyways, in general right now, I mean, nothing crazy is happening. I'm actually kind of surprised because there's so many reviews that say when they download it at 3 a.m. You can hear breathing, you can hear stuff. Wait a second. I feel like my phone glitched, but I did hear some static. Maybe my phone glitched. To say the least, nothing happened. And all the conspiracies out there are crazy. So I'm gonna exit the app, and that's apparently the tea, you know? So honestly, I don't have a lot to say. My phone is ringing! Look who's calling! It says the pedo is calling! What the heck? How did they even get my phone number? Hello? Hello? Is it pedo? I'm sorry that I didn't like
like the app. I just, I just got bored of it. You know, there was, there was nothing cool for me to play on there. That's why I exited. There was nothing scary. You know? Okay, that's it. I'm ending the phone call. That was weird. Before I downloaded this app, I read the reviews. Most of them were saying it was like the real stuff and that it was not a joke. So I decided to download it because I was bored and I have been hearing knocks in my attic, which is above my bedroom. Something about attics just really creeps me out. I used to have a haunted attic too. The first word it said was Henry, so I thought it was probably the name of the ghost. A few minutes later, my friends wanted to hang out, so I told them about the app. They do not believe in ghosts, but they found it interesting anyways. We took a walk in my neighborhood trying to find ghosts. We did find one. The ghost kept going on and off the grid. It kept saying words like close or far, so we thought that it probably meant that we were close to the ghost. After a while, the ghost kept hinting about Pearl Harbor, like harbor or cold or hurt. So we thought maybe the ghost was in the Pearl Harbor. After a while, we were getting a bit bored, so we turned off the app. We couldn't stop thinking about it, which was weird. So we decided to write in chalk all the names that the app said so the ghost could cross out their name. We left for about 10 minutes, and when we came back, nothing was crossed off. So we gave up and tried to forget about it because it was probably fake. Ever since then, everything has felt off. I just feel like I'm missing something. I recommend that you guys do not download it because it could actually be dangerous and you could forget about other stuff. Whatever that might mean. That's actually a really weird review. I actually found some other reviews here which I'm going to put on the screen so you guys can take time to read them because I know they're long. If you guys do pause and read them, they are terrifying. Like People are saying that it's like actually cursed. This app really does bring in bad spirits. However, I don't like messing with that kind of stuff so obviously I'm going to delete it off my phone and I'm actually not going to like talk to it. I'm just going to play it and see what happens and then delete it immediately because I don't want to get cursed, okay? I love you guys, so one like equals one prayer. Okay, here we go. I'm actually so scared, guys. I hate ghost radar. Okay, here we go. I'm opening it. Okay, so I'm putting my volume. There's an ad. Oh, that scared me. I was like, well, that was fast. Because, like, the little dots pop up on your screen and they say random words. If you were to say anything about me, I would probably cry. Oh, my gosh. There's a dot right there. I'm going to see if I can put it on the screen for you guys. It's, it's gone. It left. But it, it was weird because it was a blue dot and I'm wearing blue. Oh my gosh, I'm overthinking everything. I'm not gonna say anything to it because I don't mess with those things, guys. Nothing's happening. It makes me feel a lot better about this experience. So far, we just have a screen spinning, guys. Insert elevator music here. <laughs> There's no ghosties. Honestly, I feel very blessed right now that that's not happening. Because I have Jesus. It might, not, it might not work for me, guys. Stage. Ah! Ah, it said a word! It said stage! Oh my gosh, I got chills across my whole body. Angel's scared now. I have chills. And it says blue dot right there. Oh my gosh, because I'm on like, it's almost like I'm on a stage because I'm in front of the camera. And like, it's like I'm performing for you guys. Imagine. Okay, if it says another word, I'm leaving the app. Angel, I'm scared. I need to grab you. Imagine if it said dog. Oh my gosh. Angel, I'm scared. Please, I don't like ghosts. Please. That was a cute yawn. Angel, do you see a ghost? I don't like ghosts. Nothing else is happening, guys. I'm done with that app. I'm deleting it. I genuinely, okay, I actually do have trauma from using that app as a child, so do not play that one. Like, the word stage was enough and the blue dot was enough for me. And I had actual chills. Like, I'm not making it up. My whole body had chills. Next app. Okay, so this next app is called Eat, and there's some really concerning reviews that I found on this app. So this one says, this game is weird. The game at the scary part, you'll eat a squirrel? Why would you eat a squirrel? What did a squirrel do to them? I mean, what the heck? That's not cool. I like squirrels. So basically, I guess the whole point of this game is that you eat things. And people are claiming in the reviews that they hear weird creepy noises in the background and that the foods that are on the screen are not normal food. Someone said really creepy. I downloaded this game unknowing of the reviews. I played the game for like 12 minutes and then I started getting weird stuff like leaves, rotten teeth, flesh, which I'd only get when I got the message kill uncle hunger. What the heck does that even mean? Drug and weird soup pills with red and yellow and the most creepy of all a baby doll which freaked me out so yeah like this app doesn't even have like, a clear concept it's basically called eat and all you do is eat let's just get into it without even reading much about it and let's just see what happens okay I'm opening the app right now an application by crows 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 whatever that means <laughs> hated that intro that was the scariest intro of an app that I have ever heard. My ears are bleeding right now. My eyes are crying. Okay, I don't even know how to play this now, but they said, another thing that they said about this app, which I forgot to mention, is that if you close it and reopen it, you get new foods to eat. So I'm gonna test that theory as well. It's a cupcake. Yum. That lip smacking though. I 
hate the noises. The food is tasty. If only there was more. Me every day in the kitchen. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that like yogurt with something on top? Dried fruit? Nom 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 nom. Yummy. You continue to eat. You can smell the food. Potato. Nom nom nom. You begin to smile. <laughs> Why would I smile after eating that? I mean, I don't even like potatoes. Only french fries. Carrots! Ew, I hate carrots and cauliflower. That is nasty, but I'll eat it anyways. Om nom nom. Cold, hard, and empty. <laughs> Why does that sound weird? Okay, a whole basket of fruit. It's like pretty much just giving me a lot of fruits and vegetables. Nom 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 nom. Do not believe his lies. Whose lies? The heck? What does that have to do with eating food? A croissant! I love croissants. Let us go. Food is waiting for us. What is the point of this app? Bite strong. Why would I eat raw eggs? Hold up, what? That's kind of weird. Okay. I'm gonna exit the app, come back, and see if anything suspicious happens. I hate that intro so much! It goes, Eeeh. And that was a pretty good imitation. I even made Angel mad. Nothing scary is happening. Protect yourself, it says again. <gasps> what the heck? How did I get that on my screen? Okay, that is a little weird. I have not seen this one pop up yet. I'm gonna eat it. <gasps> what the heck? Exit the app? Okay, that's it. I'm done. That is creepy. I am, I am not playing that anymore. It took me that long to get something scary and that happened. I don't know how to feel about that app, guys. I've had enough of that. I don't even know what the point of it is, but that's creepy. Next app. So the next scary app we're going to be playing is Kawaii Assistant. I actually heard that this app looks normal from the outside, but has a dark inside. I've just seen a lot of weird comments saying just do not play this app. It's very weird. It's very inappropriate. It's very concerning. But let's read some of the comments. So this person said creepy. Never download this app. I said, are you watching me through the window beside me to the Kawaii Assistant? And she said, yes. Never download this app. Thanks for reading this comment. Well, that's lovely. Um, someone said horrible. This is a horrible game. Someone said is not sexy. Is no sexy. What is it supposed to be? Well, I guess we might as well just open up with no context and find out what happens. Kawaii assistant. Kawaii assistant would like to send you notifications? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, now what? Action icons. Interact with Suki on different screens. Each icon indicates a certain action. Mood meter. Your actions will dictate Suki's mood. Go, let's just start. So she looks like a real human, which is kind of concerning. She wants to access my microphone. Oh no, this is giving me talking Tom, talking Angela vibes. Okay. Hello, Suki. Can she hear me? Suki? Hello? She's ignoring me. What's the wind do? <laughs> Below icon, that sounds weird. Wait, when this icon appears, optionally interact with Suki by blowing on the phone. <sighs> no way! It blew up her skirt? That's so wrong! And she says, stop it! Well, that is not appropriate. What does this one do? When this icon appears, interact with Suki by poking her body? What the heck is this trying to teach children? Stop it! All she does is get annoyed by me when I poke her. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> This is so uncomfortable. What is this? What's the point of this? This is teaching harassment. What did she say? Girl, she's mad. She's leaving the room. I don't even know what she said. She left. What is she doing? Where did she go? She was like, I'm so done with this girl. I'm gonna get up and leave. Oh, she back. Hope you've learned your lesson. Girl, she is mad at me. She does not love me. Okay, this app is so pointless. It is definitely a little creepy though. I didn't hear anything weird or have anything weird happen. I should ask her one more thing. Yuki, are you watching me? Oh, she's watching me! Definitely, she's like, oh, Chino. Like, I don't even know if I said that right. Oh my gosh, she literally is scaring me at this point. I'm done with her. That app is haunted. Rumors about talking Angela, talking Tom, talking Ginger, Talking Hank and all the talking cat friends. You guys have been asking me like crazy to go over more rumors and talk more about the Talking Angela and the Talking Tom app. So today guys, I'm going to be doing more research about these apps and seeing if it's really true that there are hackers in the cat's eyes on these apps or through your cell phone watching you as you play these apps. By the way, if you guys have not heard about this tea, let me catch you guys up. I know a lot of you guys have heard about this, but let me fill in everybody who's new here. So My Talking Tom was an app that goes way back. There was a similar app 
app called My Talking Angela released December 3rd of 2014. And another similar app called My Talking Hank was released December 2nd of 2016. And then there was many sequels. As you guys know, there is like seriously so many of these cat apps. Like it goes on and on and on. Like there's so many of them. There's even a YouTube channel. There's toys made. There's probably just so many random things on the internet about these apps. They became an absolute hit all over the internet. However, there was a lot of age inappropriate advertising controversy about these apps. The app was reported to have age inappropriate advertisements for adult services. So promoting things that are not family friendly on the Talking Tom app, which is pretty scary. That's what the conspiracies are here. Apparently over time, the Talking Tom app has had over 12 billion downloads. But basically over time, people were really concerned about their privacy because when you guys open up the Talking Tom or the Talking Angela app, there's a little notification that pops up on your phone asking for your permission to hear your voice and even see you through the webcam on your cell phone. Of course, this was making a lot of parents uncomfortable because a lot of the people who had the Talking Tom and the Talking Angela app were obviously little kids because these little cartoon cats are very appealing to kids and a younger audience, that's the main target, was children. So all the kids that were playing this app, you know, were really into it until there was some concerns brought up. One of the main concerns about the app was that there was stalkers and or people on the other side of the app actually listening and watching little kids through the webcam and through the microphone access. Because the whole point of this Talking Tom and Talking Angela app was to talk to the cat and the cat mimics you back. So basically whatever you say, the cat will come back and say it to you. So like someone was behind the eyes watching you at all times, even if you're off the app. Not only that, but there's been a lot of reports of this app saying very weird, inappropriate things back when there was a text version of these apps available. It uh, looks like a cute little cat, but apparently they say it's hiding a big bad secret. Before just the talking, there was a text version, and this actually was removed off the app store because it got way too crazy and it had a lot of privacy concern. Kids were able to text Talking Angela or Talking Tom, and they would text back with some things that were not so family friendly. And that was a huge concern obviously which brought a lot of concern to the app which made people not want to download it or let their kids play it anymore. But the scariest rumor of all of the rumors about these talking cat apps was the factor that a lot of people have reported in the eyes of these little cartoon cats that they can see a figure of what looks like an older man or a office room that is being broadcasted through the eyes of the cat. Are these photoshopped images? Are they real? Not sure. I don't know. These are just conspiracies. But to say the least, it is quite concerning and I have seen some weird reflections in these cats' eyes. Not only all of that, but there is terrible reviews about these apps such as this one. This person said, do not download this app. I am warning you, do not download it. It is not only dangerous and don't listen to what the makers of the app tell you. If you zoom into her eyes, you will see a room with a guy in it and it takes random pictures. If you wish to download this app, make sure you're covering your camera with your finger. Wow, and it's crazy because there's a lot of reviews like this review and they're still coming to this day. If you go and look on Talking Angela or Talking Tom, a lot of the reviews are saying that they have had weird experiences where the app keeps re-downloading itself, where the app is watching them, and where they see people in the cat's eyes. But today, guys, because we have a lot of apps to cover, I'm going to be playing some more Talking Angela slash Talking Tom apps and seeing what the tea is about Talking Angela because I feel like there's a lot of tea about her and I feel like she's hiding some dark secrets. So let's get started. All right, so I got the My Angela app and there was an update. And it's already asking me when I was born. Oh no. Oh, this is so creepy. What is she? It seriously does sound like it's saying die, 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 die. Do you guys hear that or am I just crazy? Pet me, please. Why does it want me to pet it? That is so creepy. I'm hungry. Let's go to the kitchen. Its eyes already have reflective, like, glare to it, guys. Tell me I'm not crazy. Drag the food into my mouth. Why is she making these uncomfortable noises? I just, ugh. Time to brush my teeth. Let's go to the bathroom. Ah, oh, I hate this. Her teeth are so crusty. Like, who even lets their teeth get to a point where they be looking like this? Like, that is actually really nasty, guys. Like, brush your teeth, children. Her eyes have so much glare to them. For real, look at that. There does look like there's a room in her eyes. Do you guys see that? There is a room. I see a door. That is so creepy. Wow, now I need a bath. How did she get dirty this fast? This cat is on the loose and she is stinky. She needs to take better care of her hygiene. Kind of concerning, honestly. I'm sleepy. Let's go to the bedroom. 
Why is it saying things such awkward ways? Turn off the light! That was creepy. Name your kitten. Don't use your real name. Wow, you can't use your real name? Now they're worried about privacy? Put in Puff. That's a beautiful name for a cat. Wow, I made it to level one. Okay, so they made it like a game mode now, and there's like a whole like story map. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. No. No. I need microphone access to hear you. It's already starting with this now. That was so fast to just want to get my microphone access. What's next? My video camera access? Oh no, I'm going to push okay. Her eyes have another glare in them. I will send you notifications when I'm hungry. Oh no, this is so weird. Okay, now it's sending me notifications too. Wait, what's this? Chat, welcome to your messages. Oh, I thought I could message Angela for a second. Imagine she messages me. No. Okay, so this is getting really creepy just because her eyes are so reflective and just everything about this is very strange for a children's game. Okay, what was that? The factor of how, I guess, it just is, in general, is very strange. How did she just swallow a whole milk glass? That's not how you drink milk. Now she's like, eh, eh, I ain't eating anything else. What are the noises she's making? Oh, <gasps> she's talking like me now! That is so creepy, I was not expecting that. No, she did not just say that. That is so... How did she say that? I didn't even say that. She is scaring me. Okay, I'm gonna like stop playing this app right now. Okay, so I had an ad on here pop up and it says play more games. And look at this list of other games they have. Tom Hero, Tom Friends, My Tom 2, The Gold Run, Talking Ben. They have like twos of everything. Like why are there so many of these apps? Like it makes me really wonder like why they need so many of them. But I'm gonna probably download Talking Tom 2 because I actually haven't downloaded this one. I'm, I'm curious now. I don't think I've downloaded this at least. Yeah, it looks completely different. I want to see if there's good reviews on this. Someone said dad and he's constantly suffering. Is this cat ever happy? Is he depressed? It is very bad. You are hurting cats. Wait, cat abuse is in Talking Tom 2? Unethical? It's a horror show? My daughter told me that Talking Tom is scary and I have deleted the game. Please do not play this game. There's a lot of bad reviews on Talking Tom too, so I'm a little scared right now. Okay, of course, as I open Talking Tom 2, it's already asking me when I was born. It probably wants to know if I'm a child that they can stalk or if I'm just old. I need access to your microphone to hear you. Oh my gosh, why does he look old and creepy like he has a beard in this version? Wow, okay, so he's gonna stalk me too and access my microphone. And he looks really ugly in this version. I don't know why he looks so old and crusty. He sounds different too. And he looks aggressive. Look at how aggressive he is. Maybe they're right. All you do is beat him up. The quality is not even as good as their other apps, but this one seems like the whole point is to just beat up Tom. Oh yeah, he's getting drenched. Tom's new game is full of fun. I'm not downloading it, no! It's like all about abusing Tom. This whole app is cat abuse. Why do they want to teach that to kids? Actually, now that I think about it, that's kind of not a good thing to teach to kids is to just like beat up on a random cat. Like obviously, that's kind of a messed up point of a game. I don't know why they didn't do something sweeter like, oh, dress up the kitty in a fun outfit or maybe feed him or teach him how to make cake or something. I don't know.